Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back here at Moss Nissan in Newport Ritchie, Florida, and we have something a little different. We have this 2019 Fiat 124 Spider Abarth Edition. But before we dive into this small sports car, this drop top sports car, let's talk about Fiat and what this 124 Spider really represents. So Fiat, that iconic Italian brand, 124 Spider. this is not the first go around for that nameplate. It actually was sold many years ago here in the United States with the same intention, a small sports car, not a ton of horsepower, but very agile and having that drop top capability. Fast forward to the 21st century, this 124 Spider sits on the same chassis as the Mazda Miata. It's even finally assembled, like the final assembly point is Hiroshima, Japan, alongside the Miata. What you're gonna find though when you go the 124 Spider route is you're gonna get that iconic Italian style and you're actually getting turbocharged power. And on top of that, when you hear the name Abarth, that refers to that extra performance. So let's go ahead, dive into this 124 Spider, the Abarth edition, and see is it the best sports car for your hard-earned money, especially over a Miata. Would you rather go this route than a Miata? Right off the bat, the styling. You're gonna notice that the 124 Spider appears a little bigger because it is a little bigger than the Miata based off of its styling. Now, when you get to the headlight housing, this really mimics all of the design on the exterior mimics the 124 Spider from the past. I like the shape of the headlight housing, everything blacked out, LED headlights, daytime running lamps. You drop down, you got your fog lamps down below. My only zonk, faint vent. If this is a performance edition, we should have some functionality here. So that's definitely a zonk. As we come across the grill, looks spot on, just like the 124 Spider of the past. Full functionality up top, down below. I like the flat black splitter, the way it integrates nicely into the front fascia. And then of course you have that iconic badge, the Abarth badge. And if you're wondering, what's the connection between Fiat and that Scorpion badge there from the Abarth family? The Abarth family actually took the small Fiat 500s and would rally race them and they would add extra performance. Well, guess what? That badge is now on this Fiat and you do get extra performance. As we get up onto the hood, classic design here. You have these U-shape, long U-shape indentations. Look at a picture of a 124 Spider. looks identical. The one from the past looks identical to this one. Now, as we come around the bend, I am gonna zonk this. It looks cool, but it's fake. They should have made that a side air curtain with that other fake vent up front. 17 inch wheels that are our specific dark gray 205 on the width and you're going to get those four piston brembo calipers give us some nice braking capability now as we go into the fender treatment you'll notice that you'll get the same side marker lights as a miata it even has the indentation so they're kind of recessed into the body love the nice clean style of no top and i love the way that they did this smoke metallic gray around the window frame, on the mirror caps, nice side sill extension. And this is something that you're just not gonna get on the Miata. The Miata is a little bit more rounded. This one has a little bit more curve to it. Look at the way that body line comes into the rear fender area. We get to the back. I am gonna zonk this guy here. I don't know why we gotta have a RC style antenna on the back. Everything should be right in the shark fin antenna. You got a nice large Arbar badge there. And then as we drop down, I love what they do with the taillights. This centerpiece is unique to this red car. If you get a black one, it's black. You get a yellow one, it's yellow. But I like that style. You got the nice quad tip exhaust. They're staggered on each side. You can see where they mount your uh, reverse lights and whatnot. The only thing this is missing is I would like a nice trunklet spoiler, but the 124 Spider badge, so classy, very Italian. Let's pop the hood and see what's powering this Fiat. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You'll notice that you got the Abarth name on that engine cover. And look at the turbo, that Garrett turbocharger right up top. Even the strut tower brace. I like the way that it's molded nicely to the interior of that engine compartment. What are we looking at power-wise? Well, like I said earlier, you're definitely looking at some turbocharged performance. Compared to the Miata, the Miata has a naturally aspirated engine. So at the end of the day, when we're looking at what kind of performance we're getting out of this vehicle. You're looking at 164 horsepower out of that inline four turbocharged engine, 184 pound feet of torque. You could have a six speed manual or a six speed automatic. The car weighs 2,509 pounds, zero to 60 in about 6.7 seconds, zero to 118.8 seconds, 
quarter mile, 15.1 at 91 miles an hour, and it's got a drag limited 136 miles per hour. The big shining point is that 26 MPGs in the city and 35 on the highway really makes this such a great performer and so light and nimble, which is really wonderful. Now, what's interesting is that you are going to have the older style transmission, especially if you go with the manual, it's actually the older style transmission, 1.4 liters with that turbocharged engine. It's interesting. You would think there would be more horsepower, but I don't know. I think with the way that the Miata is set up with that naturally aspirated engine, it seems a little bit more pleasing, but why don't we fire this up and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside this 2019, only one year old. It only has 798 miles. And I know you're probably wondering, well, Joe, I love the color, I love the shape, I want a fun convertible. How much is this one? They have it marked here at Moss Nissan for around $30,799. Brand new, it was about $36,000. So let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Now, at the top of the door panel, you're getting semi soft material. Armrest is very soft. I do like the brushed aluminum on the door handle to open and close the door. Everything else is black, super clean. When we get to the dash, you're actually getting soft material. Up top, it's hard down here, but I do like the simulated stitching. You're gonna have your seven inch infotainment system screen. It is a touch screen. You do have navigation, which is nice. Let me put it in the reverse. Not the clearest, no trajectory, but you do have a backup camera, which makes life a little easier. Start, stop button, everything in here is laid out like in a Miata, so don't be surprised by that. You got your blower fan switch, your temperature switch, you got heated seats, nice little cubby for a Twinkie or two, two USBs. I know, I know, I wish this one had the six-speed manual. It's got the six-speed automatic, but hey, it is what it is. I do like the brushed aluminum. You have the sport mode button. This is that direct control knob to go through your infotainment if you don't want to touch it. I like the stitching and you have a good old fashioned e-brake. Soft on the little armrest, open it up. You got enough room for another Twinkie, your two cup holders, and then you're gonna have your little storage container here. There, that's when you can stock up. Put your Snickers, put your payday. You can even put a Big Mac in there and just let it sit in there for a day. Mm. Seats, Recaros, love the back. The speakers are built in the headrest. Alcantara, the stitch work, these seats, really just bring up the overall feel of this vehicle. Let's talk about the roof. I'm going to have Victor close the door, even though I told him I would do it on this side. I'm going to have it now. It's real easy. Just lift up, all manual, but it's a piece of cake. That's it. Plenty of headroom in here. Do your track day, do your autocross event, and then watch this. You ready? One, two, three. Boom. Let's go. Get your butt over here. I want to show you behind the wheel the business end of this Fiat 124 Spider. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You got this beautiful steering wheel. Love the Abarth logo, nice thickness. I even like the way they did the two-piece leather here. Baseball stitching with the red face tack. Very classy, very Italian. Everything else should look right out of a Miata because it is like the way they made some fine touches. You do have a tilting and telescoping steering wheel, which is really nice. And then the seats, I'm six feet tall. They hug you really, really well. Let's check out the trunk because I think you might be surprised in this Fiat 124 Spider. All right, guys, trunk space. Now, here's something a little surprising. Because the car is a little bit bigger, it actually has a tad larger trunk than the Mazda Miata, which is a nice touch. So technically, you could go to Costco. You're going to have to limit yourself to maybe one case of water and one big old bottle of ketchup and a big bag of Funyuns. But hey, that sounds like a party to me. But you know what sounds like a bigger party? If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this Fiat Spider for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the Fiat 124 Spider Abarth. We left Moss Nissan. Let's do some on throttle. On throttle. On the brakes. That classic rear wheel drive setup. Now, I do like the turbocharged power when you're in the sweet spot of the power band, but right now I am missing the NA motor 
in the Mazda Miata, especially at 2020. That two liter just pulls so strong all the way up top. It's got that induction growl, which this doesn't have. This does have a good sound though coming out of the exhaust. On throttle. Brakes feel good, those Brembos like the turn in. I'm using the paddles to shift. on the chassis for sure. Not too bad over the bumps. I'm not getting a lot of wind buffeting in here, which is great. Back end comes out a little bit. It's a fun car to drive, for sure. acceleration test from a dead stop using the paddles on throttle waiting for the boost waiting for the boost that's why i'd rather have the miata hands down the shifts are very smooth though i like the way that there's a gear indicator turning is nice chris Of course, you could do some modifications very easily to make the power go through the roof. But if you're comparing apples to apples, I still would go the Miata route. That's just me. But uh, definitely a worthy example. And this one with only 700 miles. I mean, I'm sure you could get a great deal on this. But we're going to get back to Maz Nissan and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys. It's been another great day. Here at Moss Nissan, I definitely got to thank Dave Jr., Christian, and the rest of the crew getting us this 2019, it's a cream puff, 798 miles on this Fiat 124 Spider Abarth. I think if you want something unique, you want something different from all the other Miatas out there, you see these maybe once a blue moon, and this one, having that Abarth badge, brings that extra performance and definitely the sound and fun to a new level. But if it's cars like these, these drop top convertibles that you want to keep seeing on Raise Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way, I'll hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raise Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Raise Rise merch. Got to give it up to Crown Vic out here in the Florida sun, busting his butt. Thank you for your hard work. Victor, and just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.